Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Louis Vuitton Keepall Bandolier 45, sharing the pros and cons of this iconic piece of luggage and why it's my favorite purchase yet. Uh, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I am Dr. Charlene Lawson. I am a certified personal stylist and image consultant and I work with modern women and I share tips on my channel with regards to fashion for working women, beauty products, business tips, and all things in between for women entrepreneurs and go-getters. So go ahead and subscribe below and uh, let's get into it. All right, so we're talking about the Key Pop and Lear 45 by Louise Vuitton. And so you guys, I have been working on, you know, just upgrading parts of my life. I'm working on personal development, my health, my closet, you know, my crib, my car, you know, upgrade my man, <laughs> you know? And so I finally got to upgrading my luggage and I've always wanted a um, piece of Louis Vuitton luggage, especially the duffel bag. And so I want to talk about the pros and cons of my newest purchase, the Key Paul 45. And um, yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so let me see if you guys have a good view of the bag. Here she is. Isn't she lovely? So she's super fly. And so first thing is, let's talk about price. So this, I ordered a used a duffel bag from shopbop.com. And so I ordered used for a couple of reasons. The first one is that uh, a new bag cost about, um, with tax, probably about two grand. And so I got this one for around $13.50 uh, used, which is a definitely, you know, a price savings. And, you know, I mean, we can be real, y'all, you know, we in COVID right now. So, I, you know, I need, I need all my coins. And so I got it used. <laughs> uh, my bag was made in 1997. And then, you know, secondly, because I like to have like a little bit of a vintage feel. And so even though it still looks really new, it's crisp, it's clean, um, it's gently used. It does have a little bit of a vintage feel on the uh, leather part, which I particularly like. So it's just a personal preference. Okay, so um, let's talk about why this bag is like super iconic and why I love it and why you get it if you don't have it already in your closet. <laughs> the first is that it is a great size. It's perfect for travel. So um, let's talk about the sizing of it. So the bandolier means that it has the strap option, which is going to be a must for all the Louis Vuitton duffel bags. And this size is perfect because number one, it's going to be able to fit in your overhead bin if you're flying. Um, so it's great for travel and also it'll fit under the seat. Uh, the big sister of this bag is the uh, Keep All 55. And the sizing is just going to be the diameter. So it's simply 45 centimeters across. And the 55 is obviously 55 centimeters across. And I have that one here to show you as well, just for size and comparison purposes. Here's the 55. So you can see it's a lot bigger. Uh, this one does not have the strap option, which I think that is like mandatory if you're gonna have a duffel bag. Um, I will say that. So you wanna make sure that you're gonna order the bandolier option, which gives you the strap, which makes it a lot easier and more practical to carry, um, especially for travel. So the 45, as I mentioned, um, it does fit in the overhead compartment, such as the 55, but it also, which the 55 cannot do, is it goes under the seat, which is a plus. Secondly, why I love the 45 is going to be, it's like, you know, the best price when it comes to, to picking out, um, personally, in my opinion, the luggage. The 55 is probably about, I don't know, um, $100 more expensive, but hey, you can... I'm saving all my coins, okay? <laughs> so it's a more affordable option and it's just really more practical. And then the next reason that I love the bag, the next pro is gonna be that it's um it just looks more stylish. Like when you have it, you can wear it cross-bodied, uh, you can just carry it over your shoulder, but because it's not so big and bulky, it just it just looks flyer, you know? And so that's why I just really, really love it. Um, it does come in other colors, 
Um, so you can get the black leather, um, you can get it in um, the checkered style. And so it's pretty versatile in that regard. And, you know, we're going through the, the pros of the bag right now. But, you know, to be honest with you guys, I can't think of really any cons right now. I, um, I can fit with ease probably about, I would say, a couple days of clothing in it. So um, it's going to be in addition to your carry-on tote or your check bag. I can put you know, two or three pairs of shoes in here, um, a couple of outfits, probably about three or four outfits I could fit into this bag. And so it's um, it's practical, it's uh, it's stylish, um, it's, it's still iconic. It's just a smaller version. And I really have no complaints about the Keepall 45. And so, yeah, um, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Um, a side note here, ladies, if you're loving this jewelry that I'm rocking tonight, look at this ring. It's fire, right? It's by a company called Anale, and I have a discount code for you, so I'll also drop that in the description below. And so that's all that I have for today, and so I'll see y'all next time. All right, peace.